All right, so we'll just kind of talk about how we uh, kind of peel back the pretty facade and talk about the the structure underneath all that. Um, kind of with most projects, the first thing out of the gate is is how you're gonna uh, attack the attack the animal, and yeah. uh, usually that comes bite by bite or in in fabricator terms, sequence by sequence. Um, so that was kind of the first task out the gate was figure out how we want to build it, which direction they want to start, um, and all that good stuff. How how big of sequences they wanted to to go with. Um, Qwit actually did a pretty good job. Qwit, the general contractor, they they had a pretty good plan to begin with with how they wanted to flow. Um, if you're looking on my screen, this this purple area uh, over to the side, not very big, but that's where we tie into that existing building okay. and tie in through that that granite uh, stone facade. So kind of some fun stuff there, but that's where they wanted to start was was tying in there. And then the, there's actually an expan expansion joint right there. So everything uh, to the right of that is all uh, new structure. Um, so yeah, we started there and, and and first sequence was this red sequence, um, and then the blue, which of course, uh, with most projects, you you uh, you want to start with the easy stuff. But this one we <laughs> started right in on the on the hardest part, at least geometrically the hardest uh, area to start with. So a lot of curves, curve stuff, curved curved slab edges. That roof was um, this point is kind of curved and warping and doing all kinds of funny geometry things. Yeah. Um, but that's where they wanted to start. So kind of flowed through there. And and uh, one thing I'll say, we, we used SDS2 as a tool for kind of helping develop the sequences. Um, like I said, Qubit had a pretty good plan to start with. But once we had um, sticks in the model, uh, we were able to color coordinate, just like I'm showing here, and um, kind of spin around the model with contractors and fabricators and erectors and uh, kind of look at some of the nuances of, of where sequence transitions should, should happen. Um, so that was a fun process and I bet. using SDS2 as a tool and even, you know, spitting out 3D PDFs so that others could, could uh, view it on their end and spin around it and get a feel for it, uh, I think really helped get us started in the right direction. So when you're talking about the 3D PDFs, were you using the, the Create RFI tool in SDS2 and then sending it over to maybe the folks at Kiwit, or what did that process look like? Yeah, uh, yeah, not necessarily the RFI tool, but um, just exporting a U3D and yep. pulling that into Bluebeam, same, same thing. Um, and then, yeah, sharing that with the team, the fabricator and, and uh, contractor and everybody so that they could have to have a, a viewing tool on their end with that 3d pdf so i think that was really helpful absolutely were there any so this project alone i mean um addition uh and expansion to an older structure was what were the site conditions like anything crazy did you guys have plenty of lay down room was it tight being in the location it was in um pretty open it, yeah it, if you remember from that first slide, um, pretty open. There's uh, kind of a park area um, mm -hmm. where this building was built, so they had they had some pretty decent space for for operating in there. Um, yeah, so so not too bad not in that too. regard. Yeah. Okay. Another question. I was sitting here thinking, you guys started uh, with that tie-in area in the purple. Anything? funky about that again a structure it's 100 years old you're dealing with all that granite um which has yeah. to be a different animal anything that sticks out there that was difficult or just a challenge to overcome yeah i'll kind of zoom in there it's not not a huge area only a handful of beams um if i zoom way in on this connection uh we're kind of spanning uh, an atrium area here so okay. um and punching through that granite facade on both sides um so since we're spanning an area of, a, of two kind of two existing structures, mm -hmm. um, they wanted some, uh, you know, they didn't want to fix it in. So they have some uh, 
slide bearing joints within within that, which is this little buildup. It's gonna be hard to see, but um, no, nope, I see yeah, it. Kind of a kind of a weird sequence, I'm sure, in the field to punch through granite <laughs> facade and then uh, put in a bearing plate kind of back in behind the existing structure. Yeah, and then, and then build out from there. 